Thank you for joining us today. Through Stanford University School of Medicine, Center for Asian Health Research and Education, our group was able to investigate the prevalence of asthma among disaggregated Asian American adults between 2006 and 2018. My group, Alan Neha and me, Talia Crowther, were assisted by Armand, Sana, Dr. Egger, Dr. Srini Boston, as well as Dr. Gloria Kim. To begin, one in 13 people in the United States experience asthma. As the prevalence rises, our hope is to bring light to the distinct lack of literature into Asian subgroups with asthma, as well as establish why asthma disparities exist. Our objective is to characterize the prevalence of asthma-associated outcomes among disaggregated Asian American subgroups from 2006 to 2018 using the National Health Interview Survey. This instrument is used to collect data, track health status, healthcare access, and progress towards achieving national health objectives using personal household interviews. Through this data collection, we were able to disaggregate our groups into four different racial and ethnic groups for Asian Americans, Filipino, Chinese, Asian Indians, as well as other Asians, and compare this to our control group of non-Hispanic whites. We used a multivariate logistic regression to calculate prevalence, odd ratios, and a 95% confidence intervals while controlling for demographic, socioeconomic, as well as health-related variables in our model. The figure to the left reports the weighted prevalence of asthma cases by a subgroup. Here we see distinct differences can be found within Asian subgroups, with Filipino Americans reporting nearly twice as many asthma cases as Asian Indians. On the right, we implemented our multivariate logistic regression to find the odds ratio of asthma cases by race with the reference of non-Hispanic whites. Here we see that when accounting for all possible covariates, Filipinos as a race actually have lower odds compared to all Asian subgroups and non-Hispanic whites. So this is very important as it highlights the need to disaggregate these Asian American subgroups in research. Asian Americans have a lower prevalence of asthma compared to non-Hispanic whites. And in our study among disaggregated Asian Americans, we found that Asian Indians have the lowest prevalence of currently having asthma and Filipinos have the highest prevalence. Now, when compared to non-Hispanic whites, Asian Americans did demonstrate a lower prevalence. However, the Filipinos had the lowest odds but the highest prevalence of asthma. Um, and this is very important to note because when controlling for key variates, they had the lowest odds. Therefore, it is very important to understand the factors that are associated with asthma associated uh, outcomes and management behaviors further. Thank you. <laughs> 